Okay, in this video I'm going to simplify the expressions in part h and part i. And typically when people say simplify these, they want you to rewrite them so that there's no trig functions involved. So that's what we're going to do. And we're going to do it in the same way that we did our last examples. And what we're going to do is we're simply going to bring in right triangles. Okay, so we've got tangent of arc sine of x. Well, I'm going to say theta is the same thing as arc sine of x, or inverse sine of x, however you want to say it. Well, we can take the sine of both sides. And in this case, we'll simply be left with sine of theta equals x. And again, our angle theta in this case, theta is going to have to be between pi over 2 and negative pi over 2, just to keep emphasizing that. So now we're just going to do the same thing as before. We're going to make our right triangle. Here's our angle theta. And again, when you see just a, uh, if you don't have a fraction, make it into a fraction by putting it over 1. So sine of theta is going to equal x over 1. And again, sine is just equal to the ratio of the opposite over the hypotenuse. So the opposite side is x, the hypotenuse is equal to 1. And now we'll just use Pythagorean theorem to find the missing side. So we'll call it a for adjacent. So it says, well, a squared plus x squared is going to equal 1 squared. We're trying to solve for the adjacent side, so I'm going to subtract, well, 1 squared is just 1. We'll subtract the x squared. And now I'm going to take the square root of both sides. So again, you know, normally you'd have positive and negatives when you take the square root. I'm just going, I'm going to label it um, as positive. So it says the adjacent side is going to be the square root of 1 minus x squared. And let's see, in this case now, it says tangent. So really we're trying to evaluate tangent of theta, or simplify that expression, tangent of theta. And in this case, so tangent we know is the, uh, excuse me, the opposite over the adjacent. So we'll have x over the square root of 1 minus x squared. And that's now going to be our simplified expression. Okay, so let's do the same thing. We'll do the exact same thing for the next one. Going to do the exact same thing. So we've got cosecant of arctangent of 2x. Well, I'm going to rewrite this as inverse tangent of 2x. Again, arctangent of 2x and the inverse tangent of 2x, exact same thing. Again, I just prefer this notation. Exact same motions. So theta is going to equal the stuff on the inside. If we take the tangent of the left side, we'll have, well, tangent of theta. If we take the tangent of the right side, the tangent and the inverse tangent are going to cancel out. Just leave us with 2x. I'm going to put that over 1. Let's do our right triangle. So again, tangent, remember, is the opposite to the adjacent, the ratio of the opposite side to the adjacent side. So there's theta. So the opposite is 2x. The adjacent is positive 1. Again, uh, we're going to have to use Pythagorean theorem to figure out the missing side. So it says 1 squared plus 2x squared is going to equal the hypotenuse squared. Well, that's just 1 plus 2x times 2x will be 4x squared. And now we'll have to take the square root of both sides. Again, I'm going to keep it positive just because I'm thinking about it as being a length of a triangle here. So I've got 1 plus uh, 4x squared. We're taking the square root of all of that. The inside is what we called theta. So equivalently, we're trying to evaluate cosecant of theta. Well, let's see. So cosecant is 1 over sine. Again, we saw that sine of an angle is the opposite 
over the hypotenuse. So cosecant of theta is going to be the hypotenuse over the opposite. So let's see, the hypotenuse has a value square root of 1 plus 4x squared over the opposite side, which is 2x. And that's now going to be our expression. It says cosecant of the inverse tangent of 2x is going to equal the square root of 1 plus 4x squared all over 2x. So same thing as when you're evaluating those expre or just evaluating uh, numbers, trying to figure out numerical values. Just replace the inside, call it whatever you want. I always use theta for angles. Uh, use the appropriate trig function set up a right triangle, and then it's just a matter of reading things off of your right triangle.